Decommissioning is an important emerging area of focus for the Australian oil and gas industry. Uh, we're going to have to make decisions that will be based on community expectations, regulatory requirements, HS&E impact and of course cost. To support those decisions, uh, we're doing some baseline studies and in particular we're partnering with the University of Western Australia in a study of fish communities and habitats associated with our subsea infrastructure. We here at Woodside operate down to 800 metres as our deepest field, 830 odd. I had ROV operators tapping me on the shoulder wanting to let me know about what they were seeing. That was people who don't come from environmental background stopping and thinking about it and it was certainly something that we thought we should follow up. Woodside came to us a little while ago because they were noticing some unusual fish and some interactions between fish and their infrastructure on their ROV footage and they wanted to know more basically. They wanted to know what the value of their infrastructure was to fish and fisheries. A lot of this infrastructure is in deeper waters and so we don't really know too much about what's going on out there. We were really interested in seeing how the fish were using infrastructure, so whether they're interacting with the marine growth on the structures, whether they're under the structures, but also comparing that to natural surrounding areas to get a better understanding of what ecological value these structures are having out in our oceans. We use uh, baited remote underwater stereo video systems or stereo brubs as we call them and we can use those and deploy them along pipelines and in adjacent areas even out to 140 metres water depth and that enables us to compare what fishes images look like on the pipelines to those in natural areas. Off the pipeline the assemblage was typified by small body fish so fish in the 20 20 centimetres 30 centimetre bark and, and smaller. Uh, on the pipeline we found larger body species, uh, particularly commercial species like our snapper and some cod as well. The number of species is probably something that you don't expect. I think we're up to 40 or 50 different species just on one pipeline now. It was a great example of multidisciplinary research. Oil and gas, people that have that direct plug-in to real life situations, engineers and biologists and ecologists working together to, you know, to solve many problems. Well, the traditional mindset has really been to try and remove everything from the seabed, but across the world the mindset is beginning to change to understand that there is other options for decommissioning. It's been very exciting to, to see the results being analysed and published in the scientific literature. This is a study that will be a value not just the Woodside but uh, the whole of the Australian oil and gas industry and it's a great example of Woodside uh, collaborating with international scientific organisations to better understanding the environment in which we operate.